So in this video, we're going to be talking about what is a Lottie. So a Lottie is an open source animation file format that's tiny, high quality, interactive, and can be manipulated at runtime. The top 500 apps on the App Store right now use Lottie to engage users and enhance conversion. So Lottie is a JSON-based animation file format that enables designers to ship animations on a platform as easily as shipping static assets. They are small files that work on any device and can scale up and down without pixelation. So let's have a quick look over at the Lottie Files website. So here we are at LottieFiles.com. So Lottie Files isn't actually uh, a Lottie. So Lottie Files is a company that uses Lottie Files. Um, slight confusion with the name being Lottie Files, but th this is the tool we're going to be used when working with our Lottie Files. So there is another tool called Body Moving, which is a plugin for After Effects, but we will be using the Lottie Files plugin rather than Body Moving but essentially they do the same thing. So directly here on the website, we can see that we've got uh, two examples of Lottie. So we've got the actual text changing here. This is a Lottie file. And we've also got this image here or this animation here, which is also a Lottie file. And if we inspect it real quick, so I just opened up the inspector here, we can see that we are using a really small file, which is a Lottie files and it's a JSON file, which I mentioned before, and we can also see that the actual um, vector file itself is being manipulated in real time, which is being displayed here as the animation. So that's what all of this is over here. So if I just close that, we can go down and have a look at some examples. So here are just the latest animations that have been added um, today. And you can find more of these by going to Discover and Free Animations here. So now that's loaded, we can see all these free animations and there's loads of them. This is actually someone that's uh, ripped off my design, which is a bit annoying, but there you go. Um, and we can see there is a lot of them. Um, and these are all free to download. Um, and you can search these and download the JSON files directly and put them directly into your app. So Lottie Files actually has um, a animation player or a Lottie player, and we can access that by the code section and we can either test it on their web player directly on the website. Um, there's some stuff for Visual Studio um, and there's lots more information and their GitHub where you can pull all their files directly down. Um, so the idea being that you would use a .json file instead of say an image or a GIF, and then you'd be able to use this, but you would need to add an extra line of code, which is their web player, so that we can actually play these. If you're building that on the web, if you're doing it on mobile, there's some extra steps. But these are all the um, companies that are currently using it. Um, this is just a small selection of the biggest companies, but um, Lottie Files claim 135,000 companies are using it worldwide. Um, we're actually starting to use it at StreamYard already. There are some examples of Lottie files already on StreamYard, which is pretty cool. Um, so we can certainly do this. So now um, just do a little example here. We can see um, that a GIF is 375 kilobytes and it's um, a rasterized file, which means if you were to scale this, you would actually see pixels. Whereas a Lottie file playing the exact same thing is playing a lot smoother it's a vector, so you can size it to whatever scale you want, and it will never pixelate because it doesn't have pixels. And it's only 56 kilobytes, so it's a lot smaller. So 600 times smaller when compared to a GIF, and 10 times faster to ship, which is pretty cool. So yeah, uh, there's loads of information on this website for you to learn more. I recommend you check it out. But I'm going to play a video now um, that Lottie Files have supplied me with um, to give you a little bit more of an overview of what Lottie Files are. I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum. I've got a big fat drum, pounding some bad. I've got a big fat drum. Big fat drum, I've got a big fat, big fat, big, 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 big Listen! Yeah Clap Uh You ready? Let's go
Okay, so now we've seen the video from Lottie Files, we probably have a better understanding of what one is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open up a Lottie file so we can look at it and what that file actually looks like inside. Um, and just doing that now. Just, I'm just going to open it with text editor and we can see here that it's uh, quite confusing. So essentially this is our JSON file. Um, it's pretty tiny. If I just bring this window over, we can see that it is a max size of six kilobytes and it is an After Effects JSON file. The After Effects bit is irrelevant. It's just because that's the software it was saved with. Um, this is actually a, what a Lottie file is. So everything in here includes the, um, the illustration. So all the vector elements, uh, the visual stuff and all the animations as well, all inside this one file. We don't have to worry about this. We just need to worry about the file itself. So if I head over to lottiefiles.com again, go to design and preview, or you can just go to lottiefiles.com forward slash preview. We can then drag and drop that file directly into here. So this is something we created in After Effects, saved as a, a .json using the Lottie Files plugin. And now if we bring it in, um, we can now see that this is actually what it is. So what we saw in the text editor, um, when played with uh, the Lottie Files code, um, we're actually playing this. Um, and I didn't have to write any code to do this. I did the design fully in After Effects and then dragged it into Lottie Files and it's done everything for me. So what's pretty cool about this is, uh, one, we can see that it's definitely a vector. Um, it's playing really smoothly. There is a slight issue where I'm actually, I've got a blank frame at the end, but we'll ignore that. Uh, we can see that every frame is there that we had in After Effects. We'll get to that in a later video. Um, and what else we can do is we can change the color because it's a vector. We can change the color of every single element, which is pretty awesome. We can convert it to a GIF if we want. We can share this and we have a link to the asset file. Um, if you have a lottiefiles.com account, you can actually upload these files, keep them privately or share them publicly um, so that you have uh, a database of your files there. Okay, so I'm just in the expanded preview window now. And if we go to our handover or handoff even, we can see um, we've got a few extra tools here. We can see the embed code here. So you could just copy this. This includes the player. So you could just copy this and put it into your HTML and it would just work without anything else required. Um, we can see um, the bounding box of the actual animation size. And we know that is 1920 by 1080, but we can zoom in and out to see that it is a vector. We can see that that is pixel perfect no matter what, because it's not actually using pixels, it is a vector. Um, and we can also see it's got a transparent grid behind because there is no background. It's um, got a transparent background. So there's a few more bits of information here. We can actually see it's 5.76 kilobytes, so slightly smaller, and it's playing at a frame rate of 60. This is something we specified in After Effects that we'll get to later. Um, you can also do uh, iOS and Android, which actually I won't go into now, but it does work on mobile as well, which is really cool. Okay, so returning to the previous screen, if we go to edit animation, we can actually see the power of what Lottie files are. Real quick. There we go. And just scrub along the timeline a little bit. We can see we've got this green color and on the right under the group colors, we also have this green here. We can actually change this to whatever color we want. This takes a little while, so I won't do it now, but that's the power of Lottie. You can change these colors, um, manipulate your animations through code or inside a editor such as this. Um, it is not like a GIF where it is a fixed exported thing. It is a living file that you can manipulate on the fly using code. So that's kind of the power of Lottie. So there is, to recap, much smaller than a GIF uh, SVG vector format. So it can be resized to whatever you want. It uses the actual animations that you created in After Effects. So what you see in After Effects is what you get in Lottie, so long as that is supported by Lottie files. Um, and you can have this work directly in your website or mobile device app. So, so if you were, for example, to create a toggle animation, you could have uh, a bit of code that says when someone clicks this, it plays that much of the animation. And then when they click it again, it plays that much of the animation. 
Or alternatively, you could have this as two separate animations like we have here, where we have an off animation and an on animation. And you could just trigger those separate animations based on what the status of your UI element is. So that is what a Lottie file is. And I'll see you in the next video.